I'm Sadie. My life is filled with all kinds of weird creatures, from best friends to impulsive brothers. Somehow we all fit together, naturally. If I could choose a world for me, it'd be open, big and free. I'd pick a place not like the rest, not like the rest, it'd be best. My world, my space, my friends, I run to you when no one's there. No one in others there. There will be The average bee visits more than two million flowers to gather enough nectar to make a single pound of honey. They do so because, well, that's what bees do. In my case, things sort of just piled up. With my astronomy project, Margaret's homework, Mom's book, Dad's birdhouse, and the bake sale, I knew I was in for a stressful week. But hey, if a simple honeybee could cope, why couldn't I? Mental note, buy honey for the cake. Hoo, ha, hoo, hoo, ha, ha! What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm training for the ultimate high school games. That was a hack, a traditional dance that reflects the passion, vigor, and identity of the Maori race. Do you even know who the Maoris are? <sighs> Do you even know who they are? Yeah, but I don't have any time to explain. Whatever, just don't forget you promised to make the posters for Saturday night. Morning breath is opening, remember? Oh, yeah, of course I remember. Mental note, make posters for spirit night. How? What? Frosting is a Maori delicacy. <laughs> Didn't you know that? Mental note, by frosting. What have I told you about journaling in public? It's my planner, I'm swamped and I have to stay organized. Yeah, well, I better be on there because the worry level on my science report has been upgraded from A ah to A. Ah. 12.45, help M, that's you with science. You've got top billing over lunch and my power walk. Thanks. You power walk? Who are you, my mom? Keep it up and you lose your spot. Good news! The lunch lady said that she could smuggle out day-old muffins for a bake sale. Look, we just have to meet her in the back alley tomorrow at 0800. Oh, can we reschedule? Uh, no. It's a covert operation. <laughs> Not that easy to reschedule. Oh. 0800 it is, then. McCain. Here. Norbury. Here. Oliver. Here. Papadakis. Papadakis. Last call for Papadakis. I'm here, Mr. Levy. Well, I guess this is what we'd call a real rain delay. <laughs> well, Rain, I've seen some dramatic entrances from you before, but I think this is your best yet. Actually, don't forget about last year's pep rally, Mr. Levy. Now, please welcome your city champions, the Bennett Podcast. Am I late for the pep rally? <laughs> that was a gem. Almost makes me feel sad to have to give you a late slip. Frame this. It'll be the last one I ever get. Tunny. Burhood. Hey, would you guys mind if I went ahead? I'm just trying to get Ms. Mann to sign off on my fundraiser. Thanks anyway. You know, if you want a line jump, you might want to offer something a little better than a fundraiser. This line is taking forever. Well, what's the big rush, Red? Well, I'd tell you, but you'd just make fun of me. True, but I'm just gonna make fun of you anyway, so you might as well tell me. Good point. It's just... I'm scheduled to the max, and I have no time to do anything. Well, then you just gotta chill. I mean, if you don't, you're gonna crash and burn. You're not exactly a superhero. Ha! That's what you think. Kids today are busier than ever. 40% say they have 8 to 10 hours of homework a week. Top that off with band, football, cheerleading, and even forensics in some schools. And time management takes on a whole new meaning. But if they can handle it, so can I. I am not going to crash and burn because I have a plan. A perfectly orchestrated plan. Hey, I'm here to see Ms. Mann. That bell means you go to class. I have a date with a meatball sub. No! You can't do this! My plan! My perfectly orchestrated plan. Boo! Time 
time-saving secrets? Uh, what class is that? Can I borrow your notes? I'm so gonna fail. Relax, it's just a book I'm reading on how to save time. Well, waste some of my time and tell me exactly what you're talking about. <sighs> I'd love to. Let me start you off with an easy time-saving gem. Gift bags. Just drop in the present, add a bit of tissue, throw in a bow, and you're ready to go. When did all my friends turn into my mom? Here's the time-saving tip. Stop reading this book. No, there's a word for people like you. Time burglar. 12.45, am I good or what? Atomic clocks have nothing on you. Now what's an atomic clock? Okay, so atomic theory goes like this. An atom can be split into electrons, neutrons, and protons. Those particles can be split into quarks. Put quarks together in a particle accelerator and collide them at 250,000 miles per second and you get... See? The answer's empty space. Later. But I was sure it was C! With my chocolate honey cake in the oven, things were finally under control. Sure, I was swamped, but like my grandpa used to say, when you're at the end of your rope, just tie a knot and hang on. Ooh. Hey, Owen. I was wondering if you could help me with my paper on flying fish. Is a flying fish a tropical planktivore? I don't know. That's why I was asking if you could help me out. Yes, it is. Call it a date. Cool. See you tomorrow night. Oh no, one more thing to squeeze in. I think I'm gonna need a bigger knot. Move house poster making to 6.30, help Margaret right after that, do my English homework, switch out helping dad with the birdhouse to researching flying fish, do astronomy project before bed, and read mom's book during first period spare tomorrow. There, back on track. Looks like I won't crash and burn out after all, Ben. What's burning? My cake! My school! Hold the fire alarm! How's the time saving going? <sighs> Great! Tonight, I'm gonna place my mouthwash on my bedside table so I can gargle as I get to the bathroom in the morning. And I just cut a deal with Kirby the crossing guard, so he's gonna give me priority status in the morning rush hour. And I found empty lockers across the school, which I've strategically placed my textbooks in. That way, I only have to go to my own locker, like, once a day. And now, I'm going to the bathroom during fifth period's fair instead of having to backtrack during fourth. All this has saved me like 12 minutes and 18 seconds, but it gives me enough time to prepare for my next class. But now if you'll excuse me, I really have to go to the back. Single file line, forward march. Don't worry kids, I'll pick up right where I left off. Oh man! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I kind of like it when you're overextended, Red. Mr. Levy was starting to tell us about his trip to the Chalet of Miniatures. Have you ever thought that I like being overextended? I like being busy. I like having hobbies. Unlike you, whose only hobby is being smug. I'd say it's more of a special interest than a hobby. Look, it's okay to be busy. I know it's good for college, blah, blah, blah. But I just don't want you missing out on the real things, Red. I'm not missing out on the real things. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> so you going to spirit night? No, can't, too busy. Uh -huh. Man, even when you ask questions, you're smug. I just got the all clear. Back to class, everyone. Out of the way. Man with a full water coming through. Hey, Sadie, explain that empty space thing again. Margaret, look, I know I said I'd help you now, but I just, I'm too busy. I mean, I haven't even started organizing my notes on flying fish for Owen. Sadie, you know what I do when I get too busy? Get up an hour early to get a head start on things? No. I blow things off. Look, keep this up, and you'll turn into one of those super smart kids who has so much to do that one day, they just totally snap and quit everything. Next thing you know, they're living on a commune, raising tofu, and making their own sandals. That's not gonna happen, because I can do this. Really, I can, in theory. Look, see? One task down, only a billion more to go. Aren't you forgetting something? I, I meant to do that. It's like, it's like morning. Tipper. Not when you do it. Thanks, Kirby. Same time tomorrow. And thanks for keeping our streets safe for all pedestrians. What? Morning. 
thought you might like some hot chocolate. It's chilly this early in the morning. Sweet. Social studies, here I come. Morning, baby. It's 8.30, you're usually out of the house by 8. Oh, how do people drink this stuff? Have you read my book yet? I want to make sure I have the voice of the real teen, so it sounds like I know what's up. Uh, for starters, don't say what's up. Oh. We've got it right here. First period's bare. Don't forget about our birdhouse repair project. Okay, um, I'll come home early to help, as soon as I finish my English paper and right before I wow and Anthony with my vast knowledge of flying fish. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, forget it. Oh, they're better cold anyway. Wildlife bake sale. Roll up the tarps, the rain delay is over. <laughs> Good one, Mr. Levy. You know, I actually have time to appreciate your rich humor today. Because last night, I laid out all my clothes. So this morning, there were no looking for socks, no putting your t-shirt on inside out. It was smooth, like an assembly line. You know, you remind me of a young me. In fact, I was your age when I first got interested in the world of miniatures. What is it, Ben? Are you just here to make fun of me? Well, yeah, at first, but then I kind of felt bad about yesterday, and, well, as much as I would love to tell you I told you so, maybe you can pull this off. Wow. Thanks, Ben. You know, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Sadie, uh, you know that report has kind of turned into a media presentation. Do you know how to edit video files? Hey, sis, we've got a problem with the posters. Hey, how I designed them, I painted them, I even put them in a bundle for you. Oh, yeah, you bundled them all right. They're stuck together. Look. Great. Sadie, you gotta help me. Is it the atoms that are empty, or, or corks, or is it just my head? Where were you? The lunch lady didn't trust me by myself. You should have been there. You are my wingman. And now, all we have are some old toaster streusels for a bake sale. Ah! That's it. No more posters, homework, book reports, or bake sales. You guys are on your own. Sadie Hawthorne has officially blown you off. Now that your schedule's clear, can you maybe pencil me in some time where I can tell you I told you so? No, but I'm penciling in some time where I can tell you to get lost. She's gonna look so bad in homemade sandals. Wow, Ben had gotten to me, but in a good way. So this is what it's like to do nothing. I'm so relaxed. I can actually hear my heartbeat. It's hard to tell which puts me more at ease, Dad's hammering or Dad's drilling. As much as I enjoy seeing you snap like that, and trust me, I did, I need you. Morning Breath needs you. Tough luck, Hal. I need me. I know that sounded mean, but I had to do it. Besides, no one's gonna get hurt by me not helping them. Oh, my thumb! Blasted birdhouse! I meant figuratively hurt. <laughs> hey, you're throwing off the entire family dynamic. I'm supposed to be the lazy one. You know, I try to care, but I'm just too lazy. Be that way. I don't care. I'm independent. I'll make my own posters right after my extreme sport practice. I don't need my little sister doing my work for me. Where do we keep the paint again? Top left covered right beside the I don't care. See? Family dynamic, snarky sibling. My role. Let me get this right. You paid for and ordered your meal yesterday because... Because I don't have to stand in line, don't have to fumble with money. Just get in, get out. And if I is a walk to the arcade, I can be first in line to play Condo of Blood. Then when the kids were actually good at it get there, I'll already be at the music store listening to the latest releases. Sadie used to say stuff like that without the Condo of Blood. Yeah, well, Sadie could have used a little time-saving magic today. Brain, you've got to ease up. Life is like an atomic clock. You've got these quirks, or quarks, and they're moving at like two miles per hour, or per second, whatever. And when you smash them together, you get empty space. And your point is? All I'm saying is I bet you five bucks that every second you save will be wasted by tomorrow, and then seven. 
You're on. I'll even give you the 30 seconds you just wasted right now. Shampoo. I can apply it at night, rinse in the morning. This will save me like 40, 50 seconds right there. Huh. I should have bet more money. The sea anemone lives most of its life in one place. It just sits and goes with the flow. Until now, I never knew how good that felt. Oh, man, that was a brutal game. Every single inch of my body hurts. I think I even sprained my nose. Yeah, uh, I can relate. The whole left side of my body has gone to sleep. Uh, uh, it is going to be so hard to do those posters. Uh, no pain, no gain. <sighs> as much as I was enjoying my sloth-like life, I couldn't help but admit I was a little bit bored. Maybe I could help Mom and Dad. I mean, blowing them off was a bit unfair considering how much they've done for me. Well, that and the fact that one day I'll probably need them to help me buy a car. <laughs> Ouch, 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 foot's asleep, prickly foot, prickly foot. Listen, Mom, I'm sorry I didn't get your book sooner, it's just that... Never you mind, honey, I already submitted it. Publisher deadlines, you understand. Besides, teenage girls sometimes need time just to chillax. Oh, thanks. Tell me you didn't use chillax in your book. Of course not. I'm no poser. Hey, there's my little girl. Yep, here I am. Uh, looks like somebody certainly could have used my help on that birdhouse. About that, it's not that- Don't you worry your lovely little head off, the job is done. Okay, uh, don't panic. So there's nothing I can do to occupy myself around here. There's still lots of stuff to do at school. Hey, Margaret. How goes the science report? As if I didn't know. Awesome. My stepdad helped me with it. For a drywall contractor, that guy really knows his stuff. Oh, yay. Okay, so Margaret got lucky. There was still Hal. Good old reliable doofus Hal. Nice work, Hal. This is the most professional poster I've seen in a long time. Oh, Spirit Night is gonna be such a big success. This calls for a hacker. Yes! Well, at least I had one thing to do. Trying to erase the image of Hal and Ms. Mann performing a hacka from my mind. I'm not lying! Just ask Kirby and tell him I'm sorry to hear about the food poisoning. Ha! Ha Sorry, guys. I gotta go. Coco's a no-go today. I'm late. Papadakis, Rain Papadakis. This is not good. I mean, I've already used my rain delay joke. Here, I'm here. <sighs> we were going to discuss the Battle of Lake Erie, but I think we all want to know what happened to you. Well, it's like this. I slept in this morning because I accidentally put my mouthwash on top of my snooze alarm button, so it didn't go off. And my mom, not used to me setting out my clothes, thought they were dirty and put them in the hamper. Hence this lame Wall Ontario t-shirt. Then my deal with Kirby the Crossing Guard didn't work out because apparently he got food poisoning or something and his replacement Shelly didn't even know about our arrangement. Then Manfred, the school hall monitor, decides he's gonna go put a lock on all my spare lockers so I couldn't get to any of my stuff. And how do you explain what's happening in your hair? That would be me not having time to take a shower this morning. So my sweaty scalp activated the shampoo I pre-applied last night in order to save time. <sighs> Victory is mine. <laughs> As stories about my foamy-haired friend began to circulate, I realized that we both needed to find a middle ground. Now all I had to do was find mine. Hey, Sadie. Uh, look, before you start getting all gloaty on me... Is that even a word? No. I just thought I should say that even though you had a point in theory that I couldn't handle overextending myself, yesterday I realized that being overextended is better than being underextended. Yeah, that's cool. I only have two questions, though. First question, what's next, right? Easy. A little balance. 
What's your next question? Is underextended even a word? No. Mm. Hey, thanks for helping me with the Flying Fish Project. I can't believe they don't actually fly, just sort of glide. It feels so used. <laughs> no problem. I give you the facts, now you just have to make it look good. Cool. Popcorn? It's on rain. His five bucks went pretty far. <clears throat> uh, we are morning breath, and we want to thank you all for coming to Spirit Night at Bennett High! Woo! Woo! I now know it's possible to fill every second of every day with something to do. But if you do, you're going to miss out on some pretty cool things. Okay, before we start our first song, I'd like to introduce tonight's Spirit Leader! Am I late for spirit night? Things that you'll spend the rest of your life wishing you could get back. And who has time for that? I slept in, was late for class, had to get me a hall pass. Forgot to bring my lunch today. I saw my picture in the new year book. My eyes are closed, not a good look. Then in math. Got myself another detention High school You made me your fool High school Why are you so cruel?